Gathering law enforcement agencies, organizations, and neighbors is happening at this hour. National Night Out is held to strengthen relationships between communities and those who serve them. There are more than 60 of these events happening all across Baltimore City. And WJZ Live in Park Heights tonight, where Mayor Brandon Scott was able to kick things off. Christina Mendez shares more about their effort now to try and bring people together. Christina. Hey, Rick and Nikki. So we're catching the tail end of things. This is just kind of the cleanup hour, if you will. So let's take a look around together at what this event looked like earlier this afternoon. This all playing out next to the Delta Community Center. You can see here neighbors, local lots, law enforcement, state and federal, city officials, community organizations, everyone here celebrating National Night Out. This just the beginning of a citywide tour, though. The goal is to strengthen ties between law enforcement and those that they serve. So there was food, there was giveaways, lots of music happening here, some live performances. I did speak with Mayor Brandon Scott about what he hopes this night accomplishes. Working with police, working with city government, working most importantly with each other, that is how we're going to make Baltimore a safer place. Yes, we have a 25% reduction in homicides. Yes, we have a 7% reduction in non-fatal shootings. But working with our community members, we can have those numbers go even further in the right direction. So Mayor Scott will make about eight different stops throughout the city tonight. We are talking with people who were here earlier. Tonight at 11, you will hear from neighbors and what they hope that this night will take away for them and their communities. I'm reporting live from Park Heights tonight. I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ. That's such an important night. Christina, thank you.